Welcome back to the channel, my working friends. We are still in Ebonheart trying to find out what's going on here with this guy called Ravel that seemingly causes a lot of trouble in the population and uh, convincing people to doubt their fates, trying to convince people that uh, the Dre is uh, going to poison that tree and actually poisoning the tree. Trying to convince people that they shouldn't be there and they shouldn't fight for the elves. Stuff like this. So, we have a lot of work to do still. And, yeah, we are on our way. This, uh, this, uh, I don't know how to call him. Mayor of the city? Head of the city? I don't know. He's uh, cast a spell on us that he can see and hear what we do and uh, can talk to us through our mind like a crazy kind of mind con not mind control but mind magic something like this sounds uh, I don't know kind of doubtful you're the one who saved Ford Zirin terrible what happened at Boyan Docks though we already know where his house is there he is which is like normal I guess Pavel Uano. That's our suspect. Right over there. And try to follow him a bit. Not viciously, of course. So we keep a bit of distance, I guess. We don't look suspicious at all. Just glowing lizard on its uh, way. Hey, Ravel. No waffle today. The temple's forbidden all sales. Quiet fool. I paid you for your discretion. Remember? Okay, so we know that he was the one that bought the offer. To put it next to the shrines of Amalexia Vivek and so the seal. To attract Alit the it uh, keep away travelers and uh Look here. Grateful. It's that fancy sword was in our camp. Hey, fancy man! Fallen on any swords lately? <laughs> so he needs Saying we shouldn't help the Dunmer? <laughs> like a Nord would ever turn down a fight. He was the one try telling the Nord that he that they should uh, disappear and go. What does he do to uh, all of that though? I see behind after it all. What does he get out of it? He's losing his home too. The drunk one took your advice, Silver Tongue. He now regrets it. For shame. It was just idle talk, friend. I assure you, I had nothing to do with it. Of course. Nothing at all. Okay, so he's going into this house. He went into that shack. Wait for him to leave. I just completely unsuspicious. He's here. out. That was yeah. fast. They're just bathing our feet, that's all the lizards do. Try to get inside that shack. Okay, okay, don't, don't scream in my head like this. That's kind of annoying. And loud. Could you please not do this? Oh, what's going on here? A communication spell. Let's see who Ravil called. How do you know this ghostly voice in my head? Let's see. Ritual tomb. Nah, not a desk. Ritual tomb. No, come on. Oh. Oh, who are you? What now, Robin? So you're the meddler who undid all of Robin's work. 
Such a waste of my time. Okay, so whoever you are. I don't like being attacked by scams, thank you very much. That woman wore a covenant uniform. What's Ravil must be working for the enemy. Yeah, that's what I Go to his said. house and see what you can find. I'll send my guards. Okay, dog. But I suppose he's back already at his house and all. It's not a bit dangerous. So when he finds us, it won't uh, be good for us, I think. We're not that good at breaking into houses anyway, but okay, let's do this. What oh. are you doing here? Nothing. I was just uh, peeking around. What are you doing? You have to attack him. I guess he's attacking you us. Take Cornell gave me potions. That's interesting to know. So Cornell is the name of the one uh, you're conspiring with. But her potions didn't save you. Her potions didn't save you at all, I think. Oh, he's still uh, shocked from our appearance. I'm sorry you're too late. The guards heard fighting. I assume you found more inside than just evidence? Ravel attacked me. I had to kill him. Having him alive might have been useful, but having him dead is just as good. The ritual items in the shack on the docks and his belongings might tell us something more. I hope so. That's it? I'll shed no tears over the death of that traitor, Ravil. He caused us so much grief, and for what? A few gold coins from the Covenant. I wonder what they promised him. How uh, does a man, and especially a Dunmer, become a traitor like this? Maybe they promised him power in, the, in Ebonheart after they took it. Interesting. Okay, so what's our next course of action? You still have some stuff to do. We go a bit back here because there's uh, one of the monsters we have to kill for the for the Ashlander lady. Then I think we follow the main quest to this place on the beach where there seems to be a covenant attack. Yeah, and then we make our way more through the area. We still have a lot to do in Stoneforts, I think, until we're finished here. And we're already at 30 something videos. That's kind of a lot, so you can kind of imagine how much time it will take only to finish the main story. I think it will be several hundred videos to finish the main story and the Alliance areas. That's a lot. Let me tell you, it will be a lot. And then we start with all the DLCs and the chapters and stuff and all in the right order. It will take forever and ever. And All who worship the Lord, Mother, and Wizard are welcome in ever. But what if I worship trees and rocks? Am I not welcome then? I guess I just don't tell you what I worship. That's my business anyway, not yours. This squire's body was ripped open and it's partly devoured. The beast that killed it might be nearby. Ugua didn't have a chance. More dead Gua. I don't like when someone kills Gua. Die Gua killer. 
Okay, that's the next sound we are supposed to kill. And now we go to this place, I think. Sounds like a reasonable thing to do. Talk to Avatil. In with the tide. I think that's what I said the uh, next covenant attack is going on. Oh, it's a chest. Master even. Ooh. Okay, but disappointing. But uh, anyway, found the treasure chest. Uh, where's the uh, treasure map? Where's it going to lead us? Uh, we have already been there. I don't want to go back now to find it. It's in this area, I think, with the lava flows and stuff. Too bad. Ah, we still didn't uh, look at this place. Maybe we just explore it. Yeah. We have it. I want to mostly complete the map anyway, so... I think that's a good idea. And it looks kind of cool yeah. with the lava and stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna choose upheaval, pebble, whatever. Anything to destroy? No. Anything uh, here? No. Nope. Doesn't look the part. Drama pieces. Anything to. No. Of course not. To Jalal. No, I don't know what damn drama one was here before. No, I want to go digging in the lava to find out. Stop asking, Thanoxit. Okay. Don't get pretty mad here. I can a bit understand. I don't want to dig into lava as well. Didn't check in a long time, but we got something new to wear. Those maybe. Maybe we don't open those. <laughs> Too much stuff. That I do at the end of the uh, episode, uh, not the episode, but the end of the whole thing. Um, then I will open up all the stuff so that we can uh, that I can bring it back to the to the place and uh, to the next bank or something for the main characters and stuff. But on Archmage, whoa. That we could wear, I suppose. Should have the sandwich is fine so that we have it in our sticker book. No, this is not that good. Okay. So let's sell some stuff so that we just get rid of it. Roach, featherless. You I have feathers. Here. Here, there's a lot of feathers on me. I'm not featherless. Excuse me? Okay, so we're done here, see? So. Let's take a little peek up there if there's anything interesting going on. And then we follow up with the mist. The mist. Ah, see? Galeria on the misty. Ah, interesting. Uh, history about Vanus Galeria and the Mage's Guild founder, founder, founder. Oh, Mage's Guild increased to two. That's a pretty interesting story, I think, between uh, Vanus Galeria and the Mage's Guild, how it was formed, and uh, hmm. opposing to it, the worm cult with Money Marco. And Obsidics that don't like him anymore because he left them. Stuff like this. There's a lot of bad blood in the story and it's uh, good enough for, for a whole book filled with it, I think. It's uh, anyway kind of interesting that in the whole uh, Elder Scrolls universe, universal, um, universe, universe, it's, uh, what you say? 
Um, it's kind of interesting that there isn't any books about uh, ESO. Like, I mean, there is one or two. I mean, uh, this, uh, besides from the ones that uh, just list up, uh, like all the books from this, in this inside the game, there are like collection books that uh, show you like all the um, books that are inside the game, all the small texts and letters and whatever, and collect them a bit. But there's also one um, novel but it was written so badly and translated extremely bad like i read, in Ge read it in german and i kind of regret it because the story was kind of a bit interesting but um not interesting enough to make up for all the mistakes they put inside at least in the translation it's terrible translated so hmm, you're a bit crunchy so it was kind of terrible and it was like a two uh two uh two books making up the whole story but it wasn't good at all and i wonder like the history the stories like everything in this universe is so rich so much of stories and uh, ideas so much uh, lore and um, things you could follow up with so much things you could go deeper in like uh, the whole warcraft universe has like a ton of books and they're pretty okay like not extremely good but pretty okay and kind of nice to read so and they they give you like a deeper insight into the characters and, uh, main stories that are but that are a bit in the games but uh, kind of not that deep so they give you like a bit of an idea more about the characters and stuff what you didn't see yet so i, I kind of like them but i wonder why there isn't much about the scrolls you could write extremely good books about not even about main character, it doesn't have to be main characters or the same stories that are in the games. I mean, there's like so many years between all of them, so you could make up your own stories just in the universe. I mean, the universe, the law, the, the places, the races, everything is cut out so good already that it's kind of hard to believe why there isn't any novels or any books. I mean, there must be good writers on Mars that uh, really want to write books about all of this, about the characters, about the uh, history between them about stuff like this there must be a ton of things going on outside there i would personally love to do that i love to write but i don't have much time for it anyway so it's a bit sad because i really love to write and i would love to di dive deeper into the lore to just write about the things that uh, happen in the elder scrolls universe universe with all this uh, unique races and all this uh, unique history so you have like so much around that you don't have to invent your own stories like uh, Tolkien did with uh, what he did amazing of course that he created this whole world his races his law around them and stuff but uh, here you have everything presented to you on a on a on a perfect uh, yeah in a perfect way that you just need to grab it and put it into form create your own characters I don't know that belong to the universe make a really nice story out of it that's it and even though you already know all of the stories and all of the characters, uh, not the characters, but you know, like, much of the lore and stuff, it's still pretty interesting to see it maybe from a different perspective, so... I would love to do that. But I don't know how they, uh, how they have uh, licenses and stuff, because... Soldier, urgency compels us. We must keep the Covenant from getting the Coral Heart. What's going on here? You look like you can handle yourself in a fight. The Pact needs your help here. I mean, what I wanted to say to uh, conclude this topic, I mean, uh, writing them is one thing, but uh, the question is, uh, what happens after you write them? So, what would Bethesda, as uh, the rights uh, owners of uh, the Elder Scrolls, say about it? Like, uh, I guess they want to keep the licenses with them to ensure the specific quality they want to have. But it's kind of sad, really, that there isn't anything. I would love to read books from the Elder Scrolls universe because you already know everything around it. So you know the base settings, the areas, everything. So you know the gods, the systems, the beliefs, everything you know about it. So it's pretty easy to dive into the, the stories if there are any. It's pretty easy to dive into them because you have all the background knowledge already. Hm, I would love to read Elder Scrolls novels, really. What's going on, Sergeant? A Covenant force led by a mage named Alexandra Connell has invaded Vivek's antlers. They're after a powerful artifact called the Coral Heart. 
We tried to take Vivek's antlers back, but her army almost wiped us out. I remember that name. Wasn't it the girl that we met just uh, right now in this shed at the, uh, at the harbor? How did you survive? Dreg showed up in the middle of the battle and started slaughtering everyone. If you want to pitch in, report to Captain Norris. He's the officer in charge here. He's encamped to the north. Is his uh, first name maybe Chuck? Just uh, no, forget about it. I'll speak to him. Vivex Antlers, stop the Covenant from getting the Coral Heart. Sounds important. After this uh, small excursion into what I dream of uh, and uh, what I really want to see one day, uh, we're back into the main story. But I already see that we are pretty much at the end of the episode. Again. Walking around and talking stuff is, uh, yeah, time passes pretty quickly when you uh, start playing this, uh, and I don't know why, but really it's crazy how quickly the time passes all, this, all the way. So we're going to this place then. This looks interesting. It's a coral reef or something that's uh, for some reason not under the water, but on a beach. So I can't wait to see what's the story behind this place and why it's called Vivex Endless. But we will find out in the next episode and I would be pretty happy if you if you would stick. And maybe tell me in the comments what you think about uh, Elder Scrolls novels. Do you know maybe one that is uh, not the one that I write? Do you maybe heard of uh, anyone? Anything? Any plans about this? Or do you also think it's a good idea to have novels like this? Do you think, man, we don't need it? Uh, Law is already used up enough? Tell me in the comments what you think about it and enjoy your time, have a great time, take care of yourself, stay healthy and see you in the next episode and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much, bye!